What a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. It's Real Madrid and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. And hello from Saudi Arabia. We find ourselves today at the King Fahd Stadium in the city of Riyadh. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside David Alaba in central defence. Toni Kroos plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Robert Lewandowski. Very much looking forward to this game as Barcelona get the proceedings underway. De Jong and Barca moving the ball with purpose. Lewandowski. De Jong. Timely intervention. Many. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space, he can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Vinicius Junior. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Sergio Busquets. Frankie de Jong. No problems for the keeper. Modric. The ball with Luka Modric. This is Kroos. Well, visionary passing, and a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, as the replay shows us, Vinicius Junior's pass is inch perfect, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. Barcelona restart the game. Will that goal have the effect of stinging them into action? And that will be a corner.
Who can he pick out? De Jong, and the body in the way. Aurelien Chouameni. Benzema. And Valverde. And Benzema at the hub of this attack. Let's see what he does next. Will it happen this time? To Stegen with a great save. Dembele. Lewandowski. Araujo. Dembele. Nicely timed tackle. Modric. And Valverde. Now they stopped them in their tracks. Well, the half-time interval is fast approaching. Real Madrid leading. Stuart, your critique of their first half display. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Promising move. Oh, good work by the keeper. How about the short corner? It's one corner after another. <laughs> Playing it short. De Jong. Interception to snuff out the danger. Well, those stats show us that Real Madrid haven't had that much of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Vinicius Junior. And there it is, the half-time whistle. He has plenty of battle scars that he knows. Well, it is advantage Real after the first 45 minutes, but there's a long way from being settled. Promising move from Barcelona. Poor pass. Modric. And Valverde. Good technique displayed. Benzema. Here's Vinicius Jr. Surely! That is a tackle and a half. De Jong. This is Robert Lewandowski. Cabajal. Ready at the back post is Karim Benzema. Well, clattered away. Timely intervention. Dembele. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. 
Dembele. Must score! And a goal here. The keeper unable to prevent it. Barcelona are level. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Well, some referees might have reached for the yellow card, but not this one. Yeah, another foul, and he will get a yellow card, that's for sure. Aurelien Chouameni. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. decider Sergio Busquets now with De Jong Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position well nothing comes of it it looked promising Federico Valverde here's Carvajal Rudiger Vinicius Junior Karim Benzema Cross A really good stop at the critical stage Well had that gone in there was no way back Not much time left now though Substitution for Real Madrid Who's going to get on the end of it? Not away completely. Modric. Just made sure nothing came of that. Lewandowski. Now Jordi Alba. De Jong. Rafinha. How do they have it in them to level this? Must be! Oh, it's an unbelievable save by Courtois! There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches. And played short. Kessier. De Jong. Return to Kessier. Very quick thinking there. Tony Kroos. The ball with Luka Modric. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Benzema hovering, far post. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. And that is that, the end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Gary, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Well, he caught the eye at times in this particular match, didn't he, Stuart? Well, he didn't have his best game, but he still played a part in the team's victory. He certainly made a contribution.